that's smart. Uh, taking Cliff with me, and he's a maniac. So Cliffy is a Morky, which is a Yorkie Maltese mix, and he's super excited. So he's eight years old. Um, don't usually take him to PetSmart too much because I usually have the kids with me, and having two young kids and an insane dog in PetSmart's a little much. So I'm kid free right now, so excited to bring. Um, he's super excited. We have to get some stuff for the cats and then for him. Um, <laughs> he is your typical small dog. Um, he hasn't barked since the day we brought him home. Or, he hasn't stopped barking actually since the day we brought him home. Uh, he'll bark at the wind. He'll bark at the shadow. Uh, he'll bark just because he hasn't barked in 10 minutes. There's, there's really no reasons for it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go in? You want to go inside PetSmart? Huh? You want to go inside PetSmart? He's very excited. He's also way overdue for a grooming, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. I know. We're going to go in. So we're going to get some stuff today and um, I don't know, kind of see how he is inside PetSmart. He's been here before a couple times. He actually did their puppy kindergarten. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head in now and get some stuff for the doggy. All right, so he's already acting yeah, like a yeah, maniac. Come on, this way. Cliffy, leave it alone. Come on, come on. He's like, where are we going now? Yeah. Yes. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you so much. Oh, you're more than welcome. Cliff, let's go in. All right. All right, Cliffy. All right, so the first thing on our list is cat litter. We get these cat litter trays. Dude, come back. grabbing this. It's for like the automatic um, cat box. And it works out really great because I have three cats. Alright, so now I need to find a new collar for my one cat mittens. He is an outdoor kitty cat um, and he escaped from his collar so I need to get him a, a new one. Um, so let's see what they got. This one's kind of cute. I do like these reflective ones though. He had a red one and he took that one off so maybe he was trying to tell me he didn't like the red one. I know, I know, I see you. I see you. Very excited. Alright, maybe we'll get him this one. So skulls and everything make it seem like he's super super tough or something his name is mittens i feel like he needs to have something tough on him as an outdoor cat all right so now we are in the groom and cliff gets eye boogers a lot like a lot so i want to get him you know, like some face wipes for his eye boogers Cucumber, melon, negative. Puppy wipes, paw wipes, eye, ooh, eye wipes. Puppy eye wipes. Man, they have wipes for everything. What do you think? Do you like that one? Shampoo. Don't see it in here. 
Amazon's already got shampoo, so I'm not worried about it. I guess that's something I have to buy on Amazon or something. So, ooh, Bark Bar. Well, it doesn't that sound fabulous. Ooh, red sangria. You can smell like wine. What does this smell like? Doggo. And you want a, a toy? Look, there's so many toys. Do you want a toy? Huh? You want one? Not like you need another one. Do you need a toy? Do you need a toy? They got stuffed animals. What do you want? What are you seeing? Okay, so we just left PetSmart and <laughs> didn't record the whole thing. Uh, Cliff was just so excited to be in there. Thank you, lovely dummy. And it was like dog day. Like there were so many people in PetSmart. Um, it's 2.30 in the afternoon on a Tuesday. And there were tons of people in there with their dogs. So, of course, Cliff had to sniff every single one, bark at them, follow them. It was a whole ordeal. But we survived. So we went to PetSmart. And I was really shocked at how much I spent. <gasps> Oh my god! So I spent one ten seventy for that smart. See, check that out. I don't know if it's backwards or not, but one ten seventy at that smart. <laughs> so we got him. Uh, I got him his beef treats. He really, really likes these little beef treats. They're like teeny tiny little, I don't know, cubes. Um, so I got him those. Those were ten ninety nine. Um, got the cat the new collar that was $8.49 black sport what is this oh the name tag for um, the cat's collar so I had to get that and then I engraved it um, the Kong harness he's wearing the Kong harness that was $33.99 um, and it's really cool it was adjustable he's wearing the size small it was completely adjustable it's got like a little poopy bag dispenser on it um, so that's nice. Uh, and he seems comfortable in it. He wasn't like freaking out that he was wearing a harness or anything. Um, I got him the eye wipes, which were $12.99. His red sangria, um, body spray, which was $9.99. And then the cat litter thing was $18.99. Including tax came to one ten seventy. But it was all necessity items. He needed to have that red sangria spray. It was, he needed it. It, it had to be had. So um, I probably have to adjust the harness a little bit more uh, when I get home just to give it a better fit for him. Um, but he he likes it. I mean, he didn't have any issues with it on, in a, on the store. Um, what I really like about the harness is it has, like, it goes around him and then I can hook his leash on, like, right here. Um, cause he's, he's a very excitable dog and whether he's on a retractable leash or like a standard leash, he still pulls and you know, he sees, I don't know, God forbid an acorn or something that he has to run after, um, on a walk, you know, it's going to pull at his, at his little neck. Um, and truth be told, he really should have had a harness like this whole time because he is a little dog and they're not even for just little dogs. They're for big dogs too. I mean, we saw this cute little puppy in there. His name was Cooper. He was a big boy. He was 12. Um, he looked like some kind of golden retriever mixed with something. Um, but he had on a harness. So, was, so I told Cliff he didn't need to be embarrassed <laughs> about wearing a little harness. Right, Puppy? You don't gotta be embarrassed. You like your harness, don't you? You like your harness, huh? Your breast cheeks. So, all necessity items. So now we're gonna go home um, and adjust. I'll probably, you know, adjust the harness a little bit more just to give it a better fit. Um, 
But yeah, he seems really happy with it. It comes on and off super easy. Um, I'm actually gonna take it off of him now, just so I can, you know, readjust it at home. Um, but it just snaps under his little tum-tum and then goes right over his head. And I still have some tags on it. I actually had to pick Cliff up and hand him to the cashier for her to scan him. Um, but it's, this is it. This is his little harness. Um, it's got this little zippery pouch thing for his little poopy bags to go in there. Um, and this part just slips right over his little head. And then it's got these really heavy duty clips here, right there. Um, so he's totally secure in it. It's not like you can go darting after a stick, an acorn, I don't know, a piece of trash, whatever. <laughs> and, you know, escape from it. So that's really nice. So that was our trip to That's smart. Did you have so much fun? I know you want to go home. <laughs> we can go home.